Namaste everyone and welcome. Today our topic is about Astanga Yoga fifth limb, which is the Pratyahara. Pratyahara means opposed to ingestion based on the Nikolai Bachman translation that I took this reference from. So opposed to ingestion. But if I give you a breakdown about Pratyahara, the letter, I mean, so this word has these two words in there. So one is prati, means against, something like no. Ahara means food or something that you take in or perceive or absorb through your senses, which is sight, smell, sound, touch, taste, eyes, nose, ears, skin or touch, taste of the tongue. So the topic is actually today how to master your senses. I hope it sounds more clear to you, how to master your senses. It is a, quite a deeper topic because if you just go back to recap on the third that which is sturdy, that which is comfortable is asana. Patanjali makes you sit. And then he gives you pranayama, breathing. And then after that, he wants you to turn inwards, which is the sixth limb, sixth anga, which is coming. The next talk is about that, about choosing the focus or concentration called dharana. Dharana, the sixth limb. Well, let's just get into the Pratyahara is an inward journey, inward journey and master, mastering your senses. So let's look at the Sutra, chapter 2nd, 54 words. If you're a yoga practitioner, yoga teacher or philosophy lover, you know what I'm talking about, Yoga Sutras. There are many translations, but mostly I follow Edwin Bryant, I think he's one of the great translator and also Nikolai Bachman. So let's just look into it and try to repeat after me the sutra so that you kind of like learn at the same time how to chant or recite the sutra. Swavishasya, Swavishayasya, Samprayoge, Samprayoge, Chittasya, Chittasya, Swarupa Anukaraha, Swarupa Anukara, Eve Indriyanam, Eve Indriyanam, Pratyaharaha, Pratyaharaha. So that is the topic, Pratyaharaha, which is the sense withdrawal or withdrawal from the senses. Another translation from the BK Zayangar or from the even from the Gita too. So the translation for this, before the translation, I would like to recite the sutra in one line, one meter. So you try to chant if you like to chant or recite the sutras in a, a metaphorical meter way. It goes like this: Swavishyasya samprayoge chittasya swarupanukara eve indreyanyam pratyaharaha. So yes, okay, the translation. <coughs> Withdrawing the senses, mind and consciousness from contact with the external objects. So you have to be really mindful about this word, external objects. Using your senses, external objects, something like I'm looking, at, let's say you're watching me right now, you're using your eyes. You're listening to me right now, you're using your ears. Or maybe while you're sitting there, you're eating something. You're using your tongue. And as you grab the foot, you touch, you use the hand, like the skin, like touch perception or using the contacts, one of the sense. And also, the smell of whatever the environment that you're in or the food that you're eating and while you're watching or anything can be. So these all comes to the senses. So the point is here today, how to master your senses and turning inwards. If you see a turtle here, 
when you try to reach a turtle, you know, it's a metaphor actually, when you try to reach a turtle, it actually protects itself. Actually, you can learn from it, from the external objects that you perceive or you kind of like taking in. Is it healthy for you? Is it healthy for the environment? Is it healthy for the space and time or the universe or the people around you? So the translation shows like withdrawing the senses of mind consciousness from contact with external objects. So that's what Patanjali says like withdraw, sense withdraw or pause, turning inwards like the turtle. It means the attention that you're using from your senses actually turning inwards, not like, mm, or, oh yes, ah, ma, 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 ma. or like da, 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 grabbing everything or doing something, or you know, oh, this food smell tastes good, taking it a lot. It gets heavy in the mind. So Patanjali shows you this turn inwards and just give it a little pause. So pause or turn inwards. That attention turn inwards. That's why it's inward journey. The next one is, and the drawing them towards the seer, towards the seer, the soul or purusha or atma based on Vedanta. It's like uh, right now I'm as a physical body, but I have an intellectual and I have the mind that with my senses that I perceive the knowledge that I'm studying and I'm sharing here, this is my uh, how is it? My spiritual journey towards it, but I don't know what what is to you when you see this video or when you're listening to me or uh, anything that you perceive or you taking in. So pratyahara means it's against. It's like the withdrawal and going inwards or pause to improve your dharana, which is the sixth limb, to improve your concentration. If you're astanga yogi, so the translation goes like that once you have like withdrawal and then but you that attention whatever you seeing the external he wants you to turn inwards towards the seer if you see <clears throat> i think we're in a right moment of getting into this metaphor from kata upanishad about this charioteer and chariot and the horses and that battlefield shows from Gita. Well, since it's a mention that, if you can see, this is the Gita book. If you're a, a yoga practitioner, this is a great book that you would like to read. And also, you want to <clears throat> go for a different translations from that, which is this, Bhagavad Gita by Iknadi Shwaran. It's a great translation. That is actually in Sanskrit and English. And this is the Upanishad that I mentioned. It's very good for the metaphors and learn more knowledge. We call it Jnana Agni, fire of knowledge. So these are great books. So the metaphors come from Kata Upanishad. So let us just look into it. How I can uh, interpret to make you understand better and also uh, this is a good metaphor that we can learn to uh, master your senses and use it wisely, not only pausing, can be many ways. Patanjali is said turn inwards and attention to improve your concentration and to withdraw from the senses. But what I'm trying to give you here is like the karma yoga uh, metaphor means if you're an action yogi, if you're in a path of you know, doing the right action, right thing to do, you, I think this is a good metaphor to do that now. So, here, the Arjuna represents the soul, the Atma, or the seer. And the chariot represents the body, your body. And the wheels represents your hands and limbs and like to move. And if you see Krishna, he is an intellect, or we call it buddhi, intelligence, or the master, or the guru. And the reins represents your mind like mind. This is very important. Yoga is about the union, body, mind and soul and its freedom. Yoke, to join together. So this mind are holding the senses. Here the five horses represents 
the eye, nose, ear, hat, uh, skin, and your tongue. So you can see here a beautiful metaphor that you know, gives you some kind of idea about how do we deal our field of activity, the path that you shows here, and using your senses. Let's say you start your day, you're going to the office, you're like a commuter, like you know, you're going in a, for example, taking MTR, going to like an underground train, running, running, running. So it's like battlefield every day. You go to the war almost. It's like a war outside the external world. You're stressed out. And you even in your lunch time, you have no time to eat. And then you go back after the work, rushing back to home. And then family. Maybe uh, a family has a drama, emotions, feelings that you need to deal with. And then the other day. It's just a simple way. So just give you more, in a, like, you know, more easiest ways to understand like you every day you're facing something every day you're doing something using the senses so the, here comes the yoga philosophy so whatever the field of activity that you choose and that's how you have this karma going on and often we get hooked by this senses like that we can't control sometimes so the reins that you know you if these horses are going that direction, maybe they're thirsty, using your tongue, uh, like, you know, want to eat some food or something to say, pull back, hold on, pause, turn inward, based on the Patanjali. But based on the Katha Upanishad or Gita, shows you the action, pull down, see clearly, step back, wait a minute, that's where your intellectual or the chariot driver it plays a role as the intellectual. So you have to be very intellectual. If I'm making this action, does it apply in a right way or a right thing can do? So it is always important to, to know and to use your senses more clearly. And you can see yoga shows that. It's basically the yoga philosophy, even in, if, if I interpret this one, Yoga is not a workout. It is a work in. Yoga is not a workout. It is a work in. And also, <clears throat> to bring that connection to the body and mind and soul, I think Astanga Yoga, the limbs that we follow, Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, the coming next is Dharana. It gives you kind of, a, I don't say it's a shortcut, but if you want to know what is yoga philosophy in this eight limbs of yoga based on the Patanjali, they are very helpful to apply in your life and also not only in the practice of yoga. There are these metaphors and uh, this, <clears throat> you know, this philosophy can give you more insight to it. And I would like to read from Katha Upanishad, give you more insight about this chariot so that you can get into this metaphor more deeply. So, the road that you choose represents the objects that we see, that we hear, that we touch, that we smell, or that we taste or say. The horses represent our sensory organs. As I mentioned earlier, they are sensory organs. And the rain symbolizes our outer mind, the outer mind, consciously, unconsciously. Often we do things without thinking, and sometimes we do, we do think, but we don't do this. So it's a battle. The driver uses the reins to direct the horses, just as the inner mind uses the outer outer to mind to interact with the sensory organs. So the chariot master is the intellect. But the driver letting the horses out of his control reflects our heart mind being controlled by our senses and the objects that we attract to. So you have to detach, you have to use the kind of vairagya. So with no guidance, our senses will carry out 
attention outward. That's why I said in the beginning, this is an inward journey, inner development, just like the turtle. It's like the inward attention, not throwing yourself everywhere and saying that, oh my God, my life is this. Oh my God, my life is that. Often you're going, you know, going around, sharing with the people. But if you notice where these things are coming, just like if you use this metaphor, you're going to this field of activity, the path that you choose. You have to take these consequences. That's why the yoga comes here. Let you just, he Patanjali says that, like Pratyahara, like pause, dude. I mean, you don't have to worry about it. Just pause and see where it's coming from. When it's coming from this direction, wait a minute. Pull the reins back, like, you know, control the inner mind to outer mind. And Pratyahara results in complete mastery over our sensory organs. So that's what the Pratyahara. And also fully connecting the inner light of awareness. So it is very important to, to know about this chariot metaphor. And <clears throat> if you notice here, there's a queen bee. If you know the, you know the honey, the queen bee moves around. It's one of the metaphor too. Let's say if your mind is going everywhere, here and there, here and there, and all the other sense or whatever the feelings, everything follows there too. So if you control that queen bee, like you settle, stay in one point, the rest of the bees are following you too, it's does the same. So the metaphor shows gently, like sense withdrawal, do not move everywhere, do not grow everywhere. In a yogic way, if you want to improve the concentration, I think it is very important to use vairagya, detached. I'm not saying like, you know, suppress or run away. Just take a moment. Observe in silence. It is very important. Be a warrior if you're an action pal, like just like the Arjuna. Choose a bona fide guru like Krishna, like a teacher that elites you. Or do your math before like getting screwed up or something. Like if you get screwed up again, try not to repeat that by using any senses that you make. So you see people, it's, it is a very helpful philosophy that inspires you, motivates you to do with love, to do with the act that creates harmony, peace, love, and happiness. I hope this information is helpful. And I would like to share a <clears throat> few more words. That is, don't let your senses fall in a trap or you fall in a trap. There's a saying in Gita, <clears throat> a spider dissolve itself. You create this, you know, riding your chariot every day, whatever the path you're choosing it. If it's a good path, move forward always constantly. Don't let any of the thing like bothers you and pull one of the horse going this side, one of the horse going that side, one of this side, or they're tired. Sometimes also we can break down emotionally, can break down literally. So it is very important to, <clears throat> to know the inner self and also using this, this beautiful shared explanation can lead your life to move forward smoothly. Let your horses rest. Practicing yoga, practicing meditation, practicing pranayama, give it a little pause, sense of withdrawal, and then get back up and move again. So it is very important to pause and go inwards. Like the turtle or like the queen bee, concentrate like, you know, don't try to like move around. Otherwise, all the bees will fall on the same thing, your senses. And also, <clears throat> the inward journey links with your intellectual mind. Just as Krishna, he said, <clears throat> Sense withdrawal 
in Gita, it's a code from sense withdrawal. It doesn't mean that you are <clears throat> suppressing or running out something. It's to create the greater joy with yourself. So that's what the, the Pratyahara shows based on the Gita, the Katapunishat, or Yoga Sutra by Patanjali. So once again, <clears throat> I'll see you in the next topic discussing about Dharana. I hope uh, this talk is very useful and I hope you can apply this, you know, to master your senses, to control. Let's just have some self-control. And whenever you feel overwhelmed or can't do this, and just see where it's coming from, which sense it's coming from. And all, I mean, uh, there's a <clears throat> one of the, uh, the Swami that I follow, he says that always just this once or just once, this is a trap. So, just this once, it's like you tell yourself, okay, I will just do this once, but it'll become a habit. And if you can avoid that just this once or just once, you can find your life more joyful, more balanced, and you ride your chariot more smoothly, not letting your, like, exhausted or getting tired or one horse collapse. Maybe you lost your sight, you lost your smell, or you lost your, this self. Many things can happen. So I want you to sense withdrawal, pause, not about suppressing, not about running away. See and make your karma, dharma for, towards the righteousness. I think that's what makes <clears throat> more sense to me <clears throat> in this metaphor. And also, based on the Patanjali, it's an inward journey. It's an inward journey, connection, inner development. See what happens when you close your eyes. Observe in silence or observance in silence. Close your eyes. No music, not saying, like go after the nature and just close your eyes. Prepare yourself to choose that focus as the dharana. Concentration, the next step. All right? All right, so... I wish you have a great practice. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, remember to give thumbs up. If not, <laughs> you're right, thumbs down. So, thank you guys. Once again, this is the VK Artist YouTube channel. I hope the talks are very helpful for you. And I want to thank you, all my mentors and teachers, for inspiring me to do this work. And also these great authors and books like Edwin Bryan, Nikolai Bachman, Eknad Ishwaran, and to my teachers, uh, Master Rakshir, Patrick Krillman, is my respect for you all and to let me lead forward in this path of yoga and this path of wisdom of freedom, happiness, and peace. And to thanks to my supporters too for watching this video. See you guys in the next session with the dharana. Choose a focus, concentration. All right, now go do your work. Thank you and namaste. Bye-bye.